We are at GEHA Field at Arrowhead today here in Kansas City. It's Championship Sunday, baby! For the second straight year, the Bengals and Chiefs squared off in the AFC title game. Where else would you rather be, man? Y'all sit back and enjoy the show. The two heavyweights traded punches for four quarters. Joe throws it down the left sideline. Touchdown! A 27-yard thing of beauty. Mahomes had the ball pop out of his hand, and the Bengals fall on it. Sam Hubbard pounces on the ball. The Bengals looking at fourth down and six. Burrow in the gun. He catches the shotgun snap. He's back to throw. He flings it deep downfield. Chase makes the catch at the six-yard line. Wow! Second and goal from the two. Burrow hands it off. P. Ryan, touchdown! And that ties the game at 20. Keep fighting! Keep fighting! Cincinnati fought to the final bell, but an untimely penalty robbed the defending AFC champions of a chance to repeat. The kick is up, and it is good. Ah. And the Kansas City Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. Many more, dog. Many more. Hey, hold the game. We're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, yes, sir. That's devastating. There's no, no other way to look at it. So close, yet so far. Bryson Hunt! In 2022, the Cincinnati Bengals proved they're one of the NFL's elite teams. Joe Burrow floats a perfect ball. Burrow knew right where he was going with the football. Jamar Chase hauls it in. Tell you what, Joe Mixon just hit it quick. Well, Henderson has that extreme explosion off the edge. Sacked by Sam Hubbard. That's my grandson's favorite player, Sam Hubbard. The back-to-back -back AFC North champions faced a grueling schedule that many said was one of the toughest in the league. It ain't their fault. They got players, man. They got players. <laughs> but it was the Bengals who struck fear into the hearts of their opponents. What do we say, dog? They got players! After starting the season 0-2, the Bengals went on the road to face the Jets, looking for win numero uno. Touch. Joe Burrow and the offense got off to a fast start, scoring on four of their first five drives. Touchdown, and the Bengals score. Burrow back to throw, throws over the nice. middle, caught by Tyler Boyd, breaks nice. away from two defenders, sprinting down the middle of the field. Touchdown! And the Bengals make the Jets pay. He's wrong right here. Let's go. We gotta get off the field now. Pro Bowl defensive end Trey Hendrickson led the defense with two and a half sacks and two forced fumbles as the Bengals kept the Jets out of the end zone in notching their first win of the season. Been a rough couple weeks, had to get the first dub. Now we can get it rolling, man. See y'all Thursday night. The Bengals kept their winning ways going four days later against the Dolphins. Burrow throws it deep down the sideline. Caught! T. Yeah. Higgins breaks nice. a tackle. Yeah. Touchdown! Bridgewater fires a quick pass, oh, intercepted, coffin nails. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, it was fun to launch, man. Appreciate it, you too, know, man. A big fan. Yeah. Appreciate you. You guys are at your best in these big moments. That's a good football team, but you guys answered the bell. Big time, big time. Growing up in suburban New Orleans, Jamar Chase felt right at home in the Superdome against the Saints in week six. Chase wowed the home crowd with a season-high 132 receiving yards. Go bust me, JC. I got you. With the Bengals down nine late in the third quarter, the hometown hero went to work for the road team. Burrow blocks, fires. Oh. Touchdown! Chase! Let's do it, it's our moment. They're down by two with 2.10 to go. Let's go right here, right here. 
Burrow in the gun, Mixon to his left. Joe drops back to throw. His pass, caught by Chase at the 50, runs through an off tackle, down the sideline. He's going to take it to the house. Jamar Chase, a 60-yard touchdown. And the Bengals have the lead with 1.57 to go. Jamar Chase has taken over this football game and once again goes off in this building. He can't hold me! Let's go! He can't hold me! Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Seven catches, 132 yards, two touchdowns, the game winner. He came back in the Superdome. He did it again. With their record now even at three and three, only one thing was bugging Joe Burrow. A bug just flew into my mouth. Jeez, that was disgusting. Why is that? Against the Falcons, the guy known as Joe Cool was as calm as ever, throwing for a season high 481 yards. Burrow throwing deep down the middle of the field. Tyler Boyd, and he streaks into the end zone. Joe Burrow floats a perfect ball down the middle of the field. Hey, we're going to have to go down and score again and keep our foot on the gas. Burrow got to a high and deep for Chase. It is a touchdown. Oh. You're going to be gone down, huh? Doing good today. <laughs> Big drive right here. Big drive. Let's go. Behind Burrow's arm and legs. The Bengals improved their record to four and three. Good, good job, man. A dominant performance by Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense. Hey, hey, come on, hurry up, hey. Two weeks later versus the Panthers, Joe Mixon's record-setting day led the way. Burrow takes the snap, gives it to Mixon. Oh. Joe is into the end zone. Running your ass off, man. Hands it to Mixon, running wide to the right. He'll go into the end zone. Scrambling to the right. Burrow throws. Caught! Oh. Joe Collins, Mixon. Yeah. Joe Mixon just set the Bengals' single game record with five touchdowns in a game. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. What a day for Cincinnati. What a day for Joe Mixon. Hey, you guys set the tone heading into the second half of the season of what Bengals football looks like. That's an awesome job. Cincinnati started the second half of their season with a win over the division rival Steelers. The Bengals get a little revenge for opening day. Before holding the league's leading rusher, Derrick Henry, to just 38 rushing yards in a win over the Titans. Huge road win for Cincinnati today. Hey, fellas, what did we say last night about their schedule? They got to play us! They got to us! They gotta play us, was the Bengals' rallying cry for the 2022 season. It signified that it just didn't matter who was on the schedule. It ain't they fault, they gotta play us, man. Yep. That mindset was never more evident than in week 13, when Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs paid a visit to Paycor Stadium. Feel that energy, dog. They hit us, see us. It's about us. Family on three, one, two, three, come. Cincinnati set the tone early, jumping out to a 14-3 lead. Burrow throws a slant. Higgins with the catch. He breaks the tackle. He extends the ball. Touchdown. That's two 11 play drives and touches. That's executing with violent precision. Keep it up. As day turned to night and the fourth quarter dawned, the Bengals trailed by four time for their defense to make their presence felt. A home sidearm throw caught over the middle. Jermaine Pratt will bring down Travis Kelsey. The ball comes out. The Bengals have it. A huge play. Burrow in the offense took advantage of the opportunity. Got to score a touchdown in this red zone possession. Burrow wants to throw, short Jeez, pass, caught at the five, Boom. Chris Evans, 
Touchdown, Bengals! And that is Coffin Nails! Bam, bam, bam! The Cincinnati Bengals beat the Chiefs for the third time in 2022. Hey, what are you doing, Maggie? Look out here. That was a heavyweight battle right there. It took everybody in this locker room. What do we say, Dolph? They got to play us! They got to play us. You guys are a force to be reckoned with right now. You guys feel that? They know that? The Bengals were riding a four-game winning streak heading into a Week 14 matchup with their cross-state rival. It's the 99th Battle of Ohio today, the Bengals and Browns. Fly around and make plays all day, man. It's a work day. Hey, man, on three. One, two, three. Adam, go! Out, Mike! Linebacker Logan Wilson, who topped the team in tackles the last two seasons, led the way against Cleveland with a career-high 17. You know who else is pretty good? Joe Burrow. A day after his 26th birthday, he was handing out presents in the form of touchdowns, including one to Jamar Chase. Daddy! Daddy! And another to Trenton Irwin. Now it's a flea flicker. Burrow's going to throw it deep. He's got a man open. Trenton Irwin. Touchdown! Cincinnati beats Cleveland 23-10. to The following week, the defense forced four turnovers. Brady, his throw, intercepted. He yeah. played Bengals football, now huh? I love it. And Burrow threw four touchdowns. Joe has the ball, throws into the end zone. Higgins for the Bengals touchdown. It doesn't get any easier, fellas. There's no t-shirts and hats in here, OK? There's no. Playoff clinches that have been done yet. We got a lot of work ahead. And next week is going to be hard as hell in New England. And I know you guys are up for the challenge. Week 16 in Foxborough saw the Bengals take a 22 to nothing lead. Burrow looking. Throws it right. It is Irwin. He's got it. Touchdown. Bengals. New England got within four when the Bengals defense sealed the deal. Ball is out. It's out. The Bengals Bengal are celebrating. Turnover They've time. got it. Turnover the Bengals have yeah. recovered the football. That should be Coffin Nails. Bam, bam, bam. Seven in a row, boys. Okay, we need eight in a row. We gotta have it. So nine days from now, you get a chance to spend some time with your loved ones these next couple days, and we come back ready for Monday Night Football against the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot on the line, and I know you guys are gonna be ready for it. The game against the Bills was supposed to be a battle between two of the AFC's top teams played in front of a national audience on Monday Night Football. But when the Bills' DeMar Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest midway through the first quarter, the game was postponed and eventually canceled. Well, the game becomes secondary, and everybody's thoughts are going to be on the well-being of DeMar Hamlin, and you can see it in all of the players' faces. Times of adversity are when leaders show their mettle. That's exactly what Bengals coach Zach Taylor did in shepherding the team through this unprecedented situation. Our thoughts and prayers are with DeMar Hamlin and his family and his loved ones and um, his teammates. Obviously, as an organization, we're doing everything we can to support them. Um, but at the same time, you do have to move forward as a team because we do have a game to play on Sunday and, and we do have to move focus towards that. But at the same time, you don't have to move past the situation that's, that's happening right now. And we can still provide support for the players uh, that need more of that, for their family who's still two miles away here at University Hospital, um, for the Bills. So, um, so you're able to, to have space to do that um, at the same time as a team move forward to focusing on uh, Baltimore on Sunday. While the entire NFL was still thinking of DeMar Hamlin, the Bengals had to shift focus to their next opponent, the division rival Ravens. Cincinnati had already locked up their second straight division title, but they wanted to leave no doubt who were the kings of the North. He throws it deep down the left sideline. Oh, a leaping catch. Yeah. Jamar Chase. 
Chase hauls it in, and the Bengals have scored again. Brown's going to throw from the end zone, and, and brought down, throws the ball, the ball touchdown. comes out, recovered touchdown. for a touchdown! See y'all next week in the jump, playoff football. The Bengals one game at a time, they gotta play us mentality. Help them finish the season on an eight-game winning streak and with a franchise record tying 12 wins. You guys finish off the season the right way. Back after the season, 8-0. No. That's awesome. All right, now it's on. One game at a time, one day at a time, okay? That's all it takes. You guys have done an excellent job. Keep it up. we got a long ways to go. we got many more weeks to play, starting with this one. That's yes, all I got. Sir. We are back at Baycor Stadium getting set for the Bengals and Ravens on Wild Card Weekend here in Cincinnati. For the second straight week, the Bengals hosted the Ravens. Feel that energy! Be legendary, all right? Chase is on three! One, two, three, Chase! In their first postseason matchup, the Bengals took a 9 to nothing lead. Turnovers happening right away. They had four last week. Burrow drops back from the 14, throws. Touchdown, Bengals! The Ravens scored 10 straight before Joe Burrow led the Bengals on a 12-play, 83-yard drive to retake the lead. Burrow back to throw, fires over the middle. A leaping catch, yeah. Hayden Hurst yeah. toward the goal line. Down at the one-inch line. Joe Burrow with five touchdown runs this year. Tries the quarterback sneak. Touchdown for Joe Burrow. The Bengals back in front by seven. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Playoff football is always ugly. Keep swinging. Baltimore tied the game at 17 and looked poised to go ahead again when the Bengals defense and Cincinnati kid Sam Hubbard made sure the hometown fans went home happy. Marbles on us, big stop. Third down and goal from the one. Huntley sticks the ball out. The Bengals have the ball. They are running it back. Sam Hubbard with blockers behind him. Hubbard to the Ravens, 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Huntley tried to extend the ball over the goal line. It got poked away. Sam Hubbard scooped it up and ran the length of the field for a go-ahead Bengals touchdown. Can't catch me! Unbelievable. A defensive score wins the game. On to Buffalo. That's AFC North football. That's playoff football. You combine them, it's nasty. Okay, but you guys found a way to get that done. Now we're on to the next one, okay? And Duff, as we all know, we're not going to play Buffalo. They gotta do what? They gotta play us, baby. They gotta play us. A gigantic AFC divisional playoff between the AFC East champion Buffalo Bills and the AFC North champion and defending AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals. Playoff football! AFC football! Gonna get down to today, today, baby! So this will technically be the first meeting between two of the best young quarterbacks in the league in Josh Allen and Joe Burrow. In frigid Western New York, Burrow and the Bengals came out hot. Short drop by Burrow. The pressure comes from the left. He throws over the middle. Caught at the nine. Chase straight ahead nice. into the end zone. Nice. Touchdown. Burrow in the gun. Pump fakes to the right. Now throws to the end zone. Caught by Hayden Hurst. Touchdown. Good start, fella. Two wide open scores on each of Cincinnati's first two drives. That's what I'm talking about. While Burrow delivered through the air, the Bengals also pounded the Bills on the ground, rushing for 172 yards, with 105 yards and a touchdown coming from running back Joe Mixon. Burrow 
Hands it off. Mixon goes airborne. He's in. Waiting for the signal. Get in. It's a one-yard touchdown run for Joe Mixon. One quarter, fellas. We gotta finish. The Bills came in as one of the league's top offenses. They left battered and bruised at the hands of the Bengals' defense. Allen takes that hit from the front and back. Finish every play, finish every drive, and that'll finish the football game. 113 to go. Now he's gonna launch it deep downfield. Oh, Intercepted! Coffin nails! Go! Hey, Snow Angels, run! Snow Angels, run! Snow Angels in the end zone. The Bengals are heading to Kansas City. This is surprising to me. Not that the Bengals won the football game, but the fashion. It's been a flawless performance by the Cincinnati Bengals today. Hey, it, it doesn't matter what the world thinks. We got a bunch of killers in this locker room, man. You don't care what they throw at you in any way, shape, or form. You just walk on the field and take care of business, and the whole world knows that now. Love you guys. Who they? Who they? Who they say you gonna beat them Bengals? Who they? Who they? Who they, who they say you gonna beat them Bengals? No! The Bengals didn't achieve their ultimate goal of hoisting the franchise's first Lombardi trophy. But fans from the Queen City should be geared up for success for years to come. Live, love, and fight for each other. Let's go! Let's do it. It's our moment. Behind the leadership of head coach Zach Taylor. It's a long road to get back every single year. Oh, baby. You never take it for granted, so we'll continue to build off this season. And a roster full of young, up-and-coming stars. Opposing teams need to be ready because...